Chamber of Horrors. All right. Hello, goody. <laughs> Keep your eyes open, Lily. You might find some new decorating ideas for our home. <laughs> now, that's what I call a bed. Boy, would that straighten out my sciatica. Uncle Herman, that's a bed of nails. So you get a good night's sleep and your back scratched at the same time. Well, yeah, but every time you jump into bed, you're a bloody mess. I'll drink to that. Hey! What a neat chair. <laughs> Must be from one of those old-fashioned beauty salons. Guy's getting a manicure, pedicure, and a facial all at the same time. Yeah, he's gonna be a pretty good-looking guy when they get through with him. Herman, dear, they're torturing the poor man. What? Well, look around. That's what this museum is all about. Oh. Oh. Then that must be the rack. And that's a vat of boiling oil. And, and there's the executioner. And that's a basket of watermelons beside him. But those aren't watermelons. No, those are... Louie? Grandpa? Anybody? Oh! Oh! Thank goodness. Friendly face. <laughs> Even if you are only a dummy. No offense. Herman! Herman! No, that's no dummy. That's my wife. <laughs> well, so long. Good luck. Especially with that eye. Glad I found you. You found all of us, Pop. Look. <laughs> I'd know me anywhere. You old lady killer, you. Eh, personally, I don't think that they've captured the real me. Tall, green, handsome. The only person missing is poor Marilyn. Well, you can't blame them, Lily. They don't want to frighten away the customers. Let me get a picture so I can show the guys in the Royal Bat and Ball Club just how famous my family really is. The Bat Club? Hey, Eddie, you could get into that kind of a club on my name alone. Well, I don't know, Grandpa. I mean, they don't take just anybody. Eddie, we're just not anybody, son. That's right, Eddie. Your father's a little bit of everybody, and your grandfather's got some of the best blood in Europe flowing through them veins. <laughs> Grandpa, if the boy wants a picture, let him get a picture. Thanks, Mom. Everybody just stand next to yourselves. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Eddie, give me that camera, son. But... Give me the camera. You've got to be in the picture, too. Just uh, you could take it. Oh. Do any of you gentlemen know how to operate one of these? <laughs> Must be from one of those countries where they've never seen a camera before. Attention, the museum is now closing. Please leave by the rear exit. But the picture! Quick, everybody. Positions. And you can imagine the trouble we'd be in if that gruesome bunch were alive. Just in time, Alan. Meet them in a dark alley and... Uh, just in time, Marilyn? Oh, um, I'd like you to meet my family. Uh, not all of us. I just remembered I have to go. Yeah, go, go. I have to go now. I don't know what it is about you, Marilyn. You always seem to attract nervous boyfriends. The museum will be closing in one minute. Quick, Marilyn, dear. This is for Eddie. Well, let's say goodbye to ourselves and go. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, you rascal. Clear? Yeah, yeah, all clear. You know, 
It just amazes me that people would come in just to look at a bunch of wax statues. They only knew what they were really looking at. Yeah. Your move spot. Did you see that, Lily? Spot beat me again. Last night it was ping pong, and this morning, this. No use trying to make up to me now, Spot. I just talked to Aunt Elvira. She's flying in from Salem <laughs> for the Halloween holiday. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yes, isn't it? <laughs> it's always such fun to go to the airport and meet her broom. Yeah, we can forget about Cousin Ego coming. According to this letter, can't make it. Oh, that's too bad. How are things in Transylvania? Oh, that's always been one of my favorite songs. How are things in Transylvania? Is the plasma bank still flowing there? <laughs> well, at least Cousin Phantom of the Opera is here. Yeah, maybe we can all have a sing-along. <laughs> Yeah, if we all have earmuffs. I assure you, my voice is appreciated elsewhere. I sang Pagliacci at the bistro last night. There wasn't a dry eye in the house. Yeah, or a dry table either. Oh, you'll see. When I attain superstardom, it will be because of this magnificent voice, not because I'm just another pretty face. It's Marilyn and her latest victim. Well, he might not be if we could make him feel at home, hmm, Herman? <laughs> Leave it to me, Lily. I'll smother him with love and kill him with kindness. Well, that ought to make him feel like one of us. Uh, everybody, this is Warren Thurston. Warren, this is my family. Morning. Hello, hey, Warren. Warren. Hello. <laughs> well, look at that. Spot's saying hello, too. <laughs> Spot? Will. You're off to a good start, young man. Uh, Spot really likes you. Uh, uh, no, Spot, he does not want to play checkers. Yeah, maybe some other time. Yeah. Uh, Warren's father works in the movies. Uh, oh. Talkies? Have I got a voice for you? Oh, my God, man, as it tears and shows on Oh, how nice. We are making him feel at home. 
That's okay, I've got another pair. Ah, the movies! Uh, wait, you see, my father, he just manages a theater here. Uh, I'm just visiting for a few weeks. Oh, well, then you'll be here for Halloween. You must come and celebrate it with us. Oh, you really must. It's the most festive time of the year. The whole family gathers together, and we decorate the entire house with poison ivy and sumac. <laughs> And I always manage to find the most beautiful hanging tree for the living room. Yeah. And my roast buzzard. <laughs> mm, gourmet cuisine. <laughs> and this year it is a full moon. Oh, God. And at midnight we play games. We put on masks and we scare people. <laughs> and we play pin the tail on the werewolf. Yeah, my favorite is bobbing for shrunken heads. <laughs> <laughs> Can I invite a few friends over, Pop? Like the president of the Royal Bat and Ball Club? Uh, we'll see. You see, we're really an old-fashioned family, Warren. <laughs> exactly, just your typical, average, old-fashioned family. We believe in setting a good example for the kids. <laughs> Fire and freeze! Those two, arrest Muggings get started, you're gonna have an epidemic on your hands. I'm not so sure we got the right men, Dad. I understand your skepticism, Glenn. Of course, I've only been on the force for 30 years. Uh, you've been on it, uh, how long? Six months? <laughs> I think I know a criminal when I see one. It's just the witnesses' descriptions. Do you think they'll hold up? They sound pretty far-fetched. Oh. Frankly, I've never seen anybody that looks like... Save me from criminology majors. They're overeducated, overpaid, and underbrained. Now, go get those witnesses. Have these men been given their rights? No, oh, we've been given everything, except the reason why we're here. I'm Chief Boyle. Sit down. Now, what do we have here? Grand theft auto, threatening to inflict bodily harm. Terrorizing. Impossible. My Herman couldn't frighten anyone. Really? Where were you last night at approximately 11 o'clock? Uh, 11 o'clock. Well, let's see. Um, the spot had just beaten me at ping pong. And that was about 10.30. Then I made some hot cocoa and got into my jammies. Jammies? I, uh, suppose you have someone who can corroborate that. I certainly can corroborate it. <laughs> well, actually, I was hanging in my closet fast asleep. The, uh, witnesses are on their way. What's going on here? What are you doing to my uncle and my grandfather? Uh, 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 no need to worry, Marilyn. Just a minor misunderstanding about last night. Oh, it's very minor. We've been accused of terrorizing a city. They were home last night. I know, I was there. Uncle Herman was playing ping pong with Spot, and Grandpa was doing what he usually does before midnight. He was hanging in the closet asleep. There, you see. Uh, maybe I should take her statement. Yes, I suppose you could do that. Uh, so... Then, uh, are we free to go? Not quite. There were witnesses who were at the scene of the crime. Oh, goody. Th th then they can tell you that we weren't there. That's him. That's him. That's him. I'll visit you on the weekend, Herman. That's him. That's him. What happened to that's him? I'll never forget it. That face. There was blood dripping from the fangs. That's impossible. I've been on the wagon for over a year. That's right, you can ask them down at the BSA. The Boy Scouts of America. Bloodsuckers Anonymous. Now, thank you. Uh, that's all. Doesn't look good, does it? What? Unless you're on our side. Now, take my suggestion. Get yourselves a good lawyer. And we were home all night. 
You spend a lot of nights at home? Is that on or off the record? Sorry. Even hardened criminals are allowed bail. I know. But in this case, I'd like to find a reason not to. Believe me or not, they're innocent. Oh, I believe you. I mean, I would like to believe you. I really would. Because Uncle Herman is the sweetest, kindest, and well, he's the gentlest man. <laughs> this is. Uncle Herman is in jail. And Grandpa's in jail. Ah! Nine o'clock and all's rotten. Ah! Just trying to cover up an aching heart, my dear. When things look their worst, I always try to put on a happy face. Eh? <laughs> ah! <laughs> See? How a little smile can brighten up someone's day. <laughs> well, I wish he were here to brighten up our day. Oh? What do you want? I don't mean to intrude. I know it's early. Ah, never too early to audition, my boy. Caro mio ben, credi mi almen, senza di te. Uncle, he's not a talent scout. Oh? Uh -huh. He's a detective. <gasps> oh, do you have any good news about Herman and Grandpa? Well, I think it's good news. I've talked my father into letting me handle the investigation. I thought maybe we could have uh, breakfast or coffee or just talk. Maybe there was something you left out yesterday. Something you overlooked. Now, why do I get the feeling that there's nothing you've overlooked? Marilyn, have coffee with him. He seems like a, a nice young man. Aunt Lily, his father is the one who said to put them in jail and throw away the key. I know, but that's just the circumstances. My father's not so bad. He's a decent man. Now, you'll see. I know he'll give your uncle and grandfather a fair shake. Herman, I have slept in just about every closet and coffin in the world, but this place gives me claustrophobia. Really? I don't think it's so bad. Three squares a day, a little solitude, time to think. <laughs> I just wish Lily was here to tuck me in at night. Yeah. Well, here comes your nanny. Hey, lower bunk's mine, honky. Honky? Uh, excuse me, I think you must have been misinformed. Uh, uh, the name's Herman. <laughs> Did I say honky? <laughs> I, 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 I meant if... If you want the Lord, it's, it's hunky dory with me. Anything you want, you got, big fella. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. That, but you can have the lower bunk tonight. You see, we hope to be out of here in a jiffy. Hang on. You're the monster muggers who tore up the, the, the chief squad room, right? 
Then word is, you dude's gonna be in here forever. You hear that, Herman? Hmm? The pride of Transylvania treated like a common criminal. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, that that's enough to drive a man to drink. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give for a nice Bloody Mary. <laughs> or Dorothy or Emily. <laughs> <laughs> tell me he's only jiving. Grandpa never jives. <laughs> that's what I was worried about. Anyway, they can't hold us here much longer. You see, we're innocent. Yeah, Herman, well, how are we gonna prove our innocence while we're in here? Gibson! Oh, goody, lamb stew. <laughs> I'm starving. Here, I'll give you a hand. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What about our lamb stew? Yeah. Help! Somebody help! Shut up! Big man, you show sure got guts. Look what I got, a present. No, 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 no. That gun belongs to him. Here. There. It's open. You don't have to do that. I could have slid the gun right through the bars. Herman, I'll take that. Yeah. Oh, fine. And I'll close the door. What for? Well, somebody could get out. Herman, that somebody is us. You want to rot in this cell or get out and clear our names? I just hate making decisions on an empty stomach. <laughs> Herman, let's go. <laughs> now get in here. Come on now. Hey, what about me? You? Yeah. You can have the lower bunk. <laughs> Come on, Herman. <laughs> Well, record or no record, Commissioner, I'm going to make an example of them. Huh. You're strong on rhetoric, Harry. But rumor has it that you're getting soft in your old age. I'll show you what soft is. Those two are in jail, and that's where they're going to stay. Stay back. I tell you, I'm dangerous now. I'm a dangerous man. Now stop right there, right there. Herman. Huh? Herman, our taxi's here. Let's go. You men are making a big mistake. Oh, I know. Your lamb stew looked delicious. But, uh, but he wouldn't listen. Herman! Coming. Uh, uh, oh, uh, would, would you mind holding these? Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, don't be afraid. They're, they're not loaded. Herman! Coming. Isn't that Uncle Herman? In my father's car? Glenn! Glenn, they're escaping! Get them! <laughs> That's your son, isn't it? Oh! Relax! Glenn! Chip off the old block. Did we hit anybody? I don't... I don't think so. Good. Then I can open my eyes. You know, Grandpa, I, I've never been a fugitive before. But it's kind of fun. <laughs> fugitive? It's only until we clear our names. Herman, do you want to spend the rest of your life being known as the, the Monster Mugger? Monster Mugger? Monster Mugger. Well, it does sort of have a nice ring to it. Herman, I tell you, there's somebody out there committing those crimes who resembles us. Really? Yes. Well, I don't know about that. It's hard to believe there's anyone out there as handsome as me. <laughs> yeah, believe it, Herman. Believe it! The only time it's even close is when I'm looking in the mirror. Or, or when I'm looking at myself at the Wax Museum. Wax Museum? What? 
Berman, there are times when I know those bolts are screwed on just right. You've got it! <laughs> yeah, but when I get compliments like that, I go all goose pimples. Yeah, <laughs> get goose pimples. Uh, uh, what do I got? Berman, you said it's time for us to abandon this vehicle and proceed on foot to the Wax Museum, where certain suspicions have been aroused in me. I did? Huh. After this, I'll have to listen more carefully when I'm talking. Closing time for them, opening time for us. Uh, uh, but, Grandpa, I've only got 85 cents, and it costs $4 to get in. Herman, we're sneaking in. Oh, then I can spend this on a hot dog. <laughs> I'm starving. There is no time for eating. Now, come on, let's go. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I missed lunch, and now you're going to make me miss dinner? Next time I run away, it is not going to be with somebody who is on a liquid diet. Hmm. Let's go. Clear? All clear. You can move them downstairs. Right. So that's how it was done. How what was done? We were seen stealing and terrorizing people. <laughs> and all the time I thought we were innocent. We are innocent, Herman. It's the robots that are guilty. It's hard to believe they're all guilty. A bunch of nice looking guys. Mm, I tell you, that ugly one ain't too bad either, one. I wonder where they're going. You mean, where are we going, Herman? Let's grab them. <laughs> Now what? Now what? Look for a switch or wire to disconnect. A piece of cake, Herman. I tell you, they just don't make me like they used to, eh? <laughs> Herman. I told you to disconnect them, not to choke them. Tell him, not, not me. Uh, 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 I hate bullies. Ah, uh, magnifico. Oh. Bravissimo! Oh. Hey, Notre Dame, Hunchback! Ah, bravo! Laguna Monster, hey! Ha vinto! Perfetto! Oh. Magnifico! Eh. No, no! There's uh, 
Something wrong in the placement of this arm. That gives it better mobility, Dr. Licklider. Mobility, mobility is not governed by the... Mobility is the first law of the... Senor, senor, please, gentlemen. Well, I don't care mobility. What I want is them to move good. You understand? Well, yes, but... Talk, 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 talk. Too much to talk. No more talk. You listen, I talk. Now, where were my two beauties from last night, huh? Yes, where? Ah! Oops, baby, oops, 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 oops. Hey, you're too precious, too precious now, too valuable. Come, come, sweethearts. <laughs> it seems that somebody has been tampering with them also. Perhaps the doctor would like to discuss last night's performance. I'd be very happy to discuss Well, it just so happens I checked. Hush, let's go back, please. What? Gentlemen, let's give credit where credit is due. Weren't they wonderful last night? They were beautiful, magnificent. They did everything we wanted, right? They got the uniforms, they brought it to us. They even got the getaway car, right? And tonight, we lock up the pizza place and we have another dry run. And then, <laughs> then it's on to Operation Mommy. Operation Mommy? Oh, I said Mommy, and I meant Mommy. But there is a Mommy involved. The Mommy who gave me this ring. Certainly you're not sending out these two. The real ones were seized and thrown into jail. Correction, Doctor. They escaped earlier this afternoon, so the police will blame anything that happens on the real one. I say send them out. And I say they don't go out. If we don't I send them out... Hush, out, back! Come on, wait a minute, hold up! I, 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 I say they're, they're not ready. Here, I right? say don't send them out. If we don't I send them... Back, please, gentlemen! Nobody gonna do anything around here unless I say. And when I say... Everybody gonna listen. And I say... They move tonight. Tonight. Ah. Yes, that, hey. Who gave this one a backup button? Nobody. I told you something was wrong. I did nothing wrong with these. This checked hey, out this morning. Wait, 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 so... Please, gentlemen, don't argue no more. Don't look at him. There's nothing wrong with him. Over here. There's something wrong over here with these. Hey, look at this. See, it's quivering over here. The skin is too tight. See that? I told you. And look at him. Huh. My beauty. He's leaking. See that? Look at this. The wax is melting. Oh, my baby, my bambina. Hey, you take good care on this one, because I like this one. He's my favorite. Oh, baby. Come on, you fix him up good, huh? He'll be fine, doctor. There's nothing wrong with these two that a thousand volt recharge won't fix, Ralph. I'm warning you, these robots are very delicate mechanisms. You're overreacting, and that Dr. kind of treatment. Please, gentlemen, please. Look, look, gentlemen look. please. These things were built to take anything. Ralph, shoot them up with 2,000 volts. My babies, they're going to get everything. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes. The golf, the golf, the golf, the golf. Ah! Sorry, sir. I'll tell you when. I'll tell you when. Because I've been, Mr. Bella. Oh, boy. All right. When? All right. Come on, my babies. Mm. Oh. Uh, come on, my babies. Come on. Come on, sweethearts. Come on. We go into the van. Come on. Hurry up, everybody. Where do you think they're taking us, Grandpa? It's their nightly caper where they scare people. Oh. Oh, maybe that's why I feel scared. When the police find out what's going on in this van in the Wax Museum, our fears and troubles will be over. Oh, goody. <laughs> that's good news to my hunger pangs. <laughs> oh, well, I tell you, speaking of hunger pangs, <clears throat> excuse me, my dear. Could I interest you in a little bite? Grandpa, she's only a robot. That woman cannot talk. I know. Those are the best kind. Oh, look, Grandpa, a pizza place. <laughs> My prayers have been answered. Herman, 
Our moment has arrived. Come on. And just in time. I'm going to have the works. Pepperoni, cheese, sausage, mushroom, anchovy. Come on. Come on. Time for escaping. Eating comes later. Grandpa, just carve it on my tombstone. He ate too late. I don't want to hear one more word about food until I'm being fed. Holy Transylvania, look at that lettuce. What? What a load of cabbage. Cabbage? I've never seen so much bread. Lettuce, cabbage, bread. Grandpa, you've got a mean streak in you. I'm talking about food, Herman. I'm talking about money, thousands of dollars. But Grandpa, even with inflation, pizzas don't cost that much. Well, something does. We'll let the police take care of this. We'd better hurry. Yeah. Police! Pete, look! Police! We're supposed to capture them and they're coming for us. Oh, well, they're not gonna get us. Police! Hold it! Hold it right there. The van. There's no time. It's getting away. A car 13 requests backup, but it's an emergency. We've got the Munster gang in custody. No, 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 not us. They're the ones you want. Will you listen to him? The van is full of robots. Yeah, and the robots are us. Oh, 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 only we're not really them. And they're made out of wax and wire and stuff. And they got lettuce and cabbage and bread. And they're maniacs. A send to two backups and an ambulance. Oh, that's no use, Herman. Look, we're gonna lose them. The van is turning the corner. Oh, hurry, hurry, turn the car around. Here, I'll help. Uh, put this car down or I'll shoot. Forget the backups. Send the SWAT team. SWAT team? Forget it, Herman. They're not listening. Let's go! I guess that young detective's hanging around to keep an eye out for us, hmm? And the other eye out for Marilyn. I feel so helpless. I hope they're not in any danger. Marilyn, please, have a little confidence. I won't let anything happen to them. It's really lovely of you young men to take such an interest in Herman and Grandpa. Yeah, I wonder why that is. Don't you wonder why, Marilyn? I wonder why you don't get lost, Eddie. Uh, look, Mrs. Munster, I, I promise you, I'm gonna find them and bring them in safely, no matter how long it takes. What's the matter with this window? I tell you, if we were in burglar school, we'd flunk out. Herman, what are you doing? You know, these acorns aren't bad. Of course, they'd be a lot better on a T-bone steak. <laughs> you forget the T-bone steak, Herman. The window is locked. So, so how do we get in? Del mio cuore, l'ampero non c'è. Why now? Just trying to strike a happy note, my dear. Hey! Cousin Phantom, the second story man's best friend. <laughs> oh, goody. Chow time. <laughs> no. No, Herman. Herman! No, 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 no. One at a time! Don't you think it's strange that we haven't heard from him? I think we just have, dear. Mmm. Compliments to the chef, dear. 
Did you like the tarantula soup? The best ever. I know you like the marinated hyena. Mmm. Uh, 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 would you like to try some, Glenn? Uh, no, no, uh, thanks. I'm having a hard time digesting what you told me about the wax museum. You know, I was there not more than six months ago. I didn't notice a thing. That's because you weren't looking like we were three days ago. If you and your father could see that laboratory downstairs, I don't know that I can convince my father. I'm having a tough time convincing myself. Well, it's very simple. All you have to do is set up the raid. He and I will take you there. Hmm. Oh, no, Grandpa, that's too dangerous. You're staying right here. Uh, not here. I, I, I have to take them in to uh, jail. And let them get brutalized? Nobody's going to brutalize them. <sighs> right, um, because you're going to let them stay right here until you get back with the proof. I guess I am. I haven't been on such a wild goose chase since I was a rookie. And which is just about the way you're acting. <laughs> Wax museums, robots. I know it sounds crazy, but I've got eyewitnesses and they've seen them. Don't you think it's worth a chance? Look, is it worth a six car raiding party? Cover the back. Rest of you men, come with us. Somebody's been tampering with these, all right? Wire's disconnected. Right. Well, I'm not pointing any fingers, but I'm not old, desperate, and in danger of being phased out. Phased out! What's all the music? <coughs> What's the music? It's a three alarm. Police. Police? All right. To be continued, gentlemen. But I'm gonna want an explanation, no talk. Right, come on, let's get out of here. Do the honors. Something wrong, gentlemen? Yeah, we'll see. Uh, what's going on? Uh, oh, could I help you, gentlemen? Could I could I show you something, maybe? Hmm? Yeah, we're the police. We'd like to see Dr. Diablo. Police? My, Dr. Zhivago. No, we didn't make him yet. We're going to make him, but we didn't get around to it. Dr. Diablo, the man in charge. Oh, the man in charge is me, Emil Hornschmeyer. I have been here for 20 years, and we have lovingly paid. Uh, uh, forgive us for disturbing you, Mr. Hornschmeyer. Uh, I, I can handle it, Dad. Uh, we want to get a closer look at these wax figures, uh, the monsters. Monsters? <laughs> monsters? Monsters? You mean works of art? Come, I show you. <laughs> monsters? Come, I show you what I for and Dresden they don't have. Here, see this one? What's it here? This is from Notre Dame. You know the, bang, the bell ring and the hunchback. Remember him? What are you looking for? Please. They don't like wax. They don't go for that. What's the matter with you? Here, look at this one. The Wolfman. We gave him a schmeiss and a schnaz. See how nice? Well, I schmeiss there and a schnaz was there. It was wonderful. What are you looking for? Why do you keep looking at... Aha. Ah. You're the police, yeah? And, uh, somebody smuggled something into the country. Uh, jewelry. Contraband. Ah. Little dope. Something done. We're looking for robots. Robots? What's from the inner chief of the robots? Here, what marked of here, what's in Schlieffer? Here, these are works of art. You want a robot, you go to a toy store where they wind them up, you know. <laughs> ah, yeah. And over here, my beauties, there no, there's no batteries in this one. <laughs> uh, that should be obvious. Where's the secret panel? Secret panel? <laughs> I don't know from no secret panel. What's in the close of the Richt? What secret panel? Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> hey. uh. 
Here we go. Gee whiz, wow! See, I never knew that. And I've been here 20 years. And maybe it won't be a secret very much longer. My goodness. Neither will the laboratory. Huh. I never saw this before. I'll get you later. I'm going to fix it. Come, I'll, I'll show you something you never saw before. Well, gentlemen, is there anything else I could show you? Just the door. Right this way. Nothing. There was nothing. No, I'm not mad. I'm just a little disappointed. Anytime you're ready, Sherlock Holmes. Coming? No, he doesn't know about them yet, but I'm going to have to take them in. Well, they aren't going to be happy about that, and neither am I. No robots, no laboratory. <laughs> no clearing our names. Ah, 10 o'clock, and it's back to jail. Ah! I tell you, Herman, that master criminal must have covered his track so well that the police do not know what's going on at the Wax Museum. <laughs> Well, there was something going on at that pizza place last night. And it would take a whole lot of pepperoni to cover that up. Herman, you've got it. I've got it again? Right. Oh, goody. <laughs> I just love it when I've got something, even if I don't know what I've got. <laughs> Grandpa, so which one am I, Estelle or Marie? What difference does it make? He called for both of us. Uh, I hope nobody tries to get fresh. You know how hard it is for me to say no. Are you two ready? Yes! See what I mean? How do I look? Hmm? No. Are my seams straight? They are. Unfortunately, your legs are crooked. Hmm. Holy moly, look what's coming. The towering inferno and the creature from the Blue Rinse Lagoon. I kind of dig tall chicks, especially when the band is playing a slow number. What's on the menu, honey? Uh, well, to tell you the truth, I haven't looked. We're new here. She hasn't been new anywhere in years. You're the dish I'm interested in, cutie. What time are you getting off? Is he making a pass? How would she know? She hasn't had one of those in years either. <laughs> Say, is there anything at all appetizing in here? Well, personally, I like the tomato soup. It has such a delicious color. <laughs> Just make it two coffees. Mashers. I don't know how all the other beautiful girls can stand it from morning till night. Customers for those uh, pizzas to go just came in. Yes, sir. Ten days off. Uh, oh. Grandpa. We got an M scray. The op scray. 
Herman, there's something very big cooking here besides them pizzas. You get rid of them. Excuse me. What kind of cake is that? Uh, well, whatever it is, you wouldn't like it. Who says? Hey, haven't I seen you somewhere before? How dare you use that old line on me, you wolf! What? You're a beast. You must think I'm a pushover for any man in the uniform. I'm sorry, madam. Uh, miss. Let's go, Mary. Yeah. Uh, thanks. All right, that's all. Okay. Let me talk to the doctor, please. Paolo, Diablo, I said, it's all bought and paid for. Yeah, I'll deliver the merchandise within the next half hour, all right? Yeah. Uh, girls, I have uh, an errand to run. I'll be back in about an hour. Well, well, where's he going? To see Dr. Diabolical. And so will we. Let's go. Excuse me, ladies. Did you happen to see a couple of men? One was about your size and... Hey, what are you two doing? Boy, are we glad to see you. Look, we got a hot lead, and we want you to come with us. Hey, sorry, I'm not going for it this time. Uh, but you've got to believe us. Look, it was tough enough finding you now. Now you're not going to get away again. Now, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Is this techie bothering you, honey? Oh, no, no. You see, he's a... He certainly is. Just can't leave the good-looking women alone, eh, buddy? Now we am spreading. How do we get in? Quick, Herman. Let's go. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> no harm, no foul. <laughs> Come on! Freeze! Well, what are they doing out here? Yeah, me. These two haven't been operating right. And all Licklider and Michael been blaming each other. Well, you better take him inside. All right. Straight down to the laboratory where we can work on it. Yeah. Something puzzles me about these two. If you don't mind, Doctor, hands off. There's nothing wrong with these two. But 4,000 volts won't cure. 4,000 volts? You just we gave We did 2,000 volts I know you did, and that's and much, 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 but they're very volts. delicate. We put 2,000 volts in. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. No more argue, no more argue. We got better things to talk about. Come on, gentlemen, come on, speak. <clears throat> Ralph, everything all set? Ready, Doctor. Thank you very much. Come, 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 come. Uh, now, gentlemen, as you know, the National Gallery has been kind enough to make a little celebration for us on Halloween. And I have a little surprise for them. So you're going to make all you gentlemen, and especially me, very rich. <laughs> Jewels beyond your imagination. Treasures that you can't even think of. <laughs> all belong to the pharaoh who was buried in the tomb. King Ramatakanigitikan, King Ratatamtam, King Ratatanamatakin, King Ratatak. 
My brother. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, Dustin the Diablo, is a direct descendant of the pharaohs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you don't believe, eh? You see this? This little mole is at the mark of the pharaoh. You still no believe. Ralph, throw on the slide. Now, you see, gentlemen, in the picture, there's a little chair. That's not just a little chair. That little chair was given to me by King Tut himself. Oh, yes. It was my first little party chair. <laughs> now, you see, on the bottom of the chair is an inscription. And the inscription says, which means he who sits on the throne sits there all alone. Oh, yes. But my mama, my mommy, my mother, she take everything away from me, my body chair, my riches, and give them to my younger brother. Why? Because he got married first, and she got mad at me, stripped me of everything. But now I have my revenge. Change the slide. There, gentlemen, is a map of the museum. X marks the spot where the men are guarding all my treasures. Now, on the stroke of midnight, out go the lights, out go the guards, pandemonium, and in swoop my beauties, and they scoop up all the treasures and my party chair, except one item. Change the slide. The royal necklace, which hangs around the mummy's neck. And I will get that myself, because that, the royal necklace stands for power and for authority. And that will be mine. And at last, the riches of the Nile will be mine. Mine, 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 mine. Where's the keys? Where's the keys to the getaway car? I had them in my pocket when I came down. I must have left them upstairs. I gotta have the keys to the getaway car, otherwise you get no getaway. Okay, I gotta get the getaway. Go, talk it over. You know, Grandpa? I don't think Glenn's gonna believe this, because I sure don't. I don't think anybody's gonna believe it. <laughs> if we expect to clear our names, Herman, we're gonna have to do something about it. Yeah, we'll have to catch that Diablo red-handed. <laughs> Maybe have the mummy catch him green-handed. The mummy? Well, how can the mummy catch him? He's been dead for centuries, even, even longer than you. <laughs> what if he wasn't? What? I mean, supposing he was alive, Herman. <laughs> There's a secret, life-giving, rejuvenating potion I've always wanted to try out. <laughs> oh, goody. This is the time to use it. Yeah. Where is it? Transylvania. Tra Transyl Transylvania? Yeah. But well, well, that's a long ways off. I mean, you can't be here one moment, just wave your arms and be somewhere else the next. Grandpa? We cannot have an idea like this vanish into thin air. What? Herman? Herman, where, where are you? Here I am. Where are you? Herman! Put your ear to the wall and listen! Are you listening? I'm listening. But I can't hear anything. There you are. What do you want? I want to get out. Now, come on. <laughs> Can we make it to Transylvania and back in time, Grandpa? We might have. 
if we'd gone out the other end of the alley. Uh, you wouldn't want to give us a lift to the airport, would you? No, just as far as police headquarters. Now get in! Look, I, I, I don't suppose I can interest you on an inside tip on a gigantic heist that's going to take place Halloween night with robots, jewels, and an Egyptian mummy? Not ever. Get in! Glenn Boyle for Chief Boyle. Chief Boyle. What is it now? You what? You sure? No, I mean, you've got them right there? In the car? Great. That's great, son. He's got him, Commissioner. Got who? The Munster Gang, in front of the Wax Museum. That's great work, son, great work. Now, <clears throat> you uh, just stay there, and uh, I'll be bringing help. Thanks. I'm bringing them in myself. Glenn. Glenn! <laughs> that boy's a chip off the old block. You know, Grandpa, this will be the first Halloween I've ever spent away from home. Let alone away from prison. Unless we do something about it, it won't be the last. If I have to spend the rest of my life in that jail cell, I will go bats. Bats? Herman, you've got it. Again? I haven't done this one in years, and I just might be a little rusty. But desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> I bet there aren't many father-in-laws who can do that. Now, that's what I call flying off the handle. What? What is that? I think you're getting to him, Grandpa. Get the shit! Get out of the window! Get out of here! Isn't that your son's car up ahead? Uh, where? Where? Oh, yes, yes. Now we'll have a chance to see Glenn and his captives. Yes. Apparently, he's also captured a fire hydrant. Oh. Glenn! Glenn! Where are the prisoners? It looks as if we're talking to him. What do you know? There really is a Transylvania. Yeah. You think they're empty? Don't know. Let's take a look. What are you, nuts? What are you scared of? You've seen one stiff, you've seen them all. Are we there yet? <laughs> Put it on board. <laughs> Are you just sitting there? Because I can't stand up, that's why. In fact, I can hardly move. I thought you were out trying to help Uncle Herman and Grandpa. Now, where are they? I don't know. But the memory of them still here is all around us. That's how I'd like to leave it, too. A memory. I don't understand. What's going on here? I'm off the case. You're not just giving up. Quitting. Not quitting. I was fired by my own father. And before I was fired, I was conned, coerced, lied to, and humiliated. And then I was fired. And if I hadn't have been fired, I would have quit. Great. I take it you don't believe in their innocence anymore. <laughs> no comment. Well, that's really great. Maybe you never did. Maybe you'd just like to forget about them completely. I already have. Well, while you're at it, why don't you forget about me, too?
Oh, Eddie, I do miss your father so. He's the only one tall enough to put on the high ornaments. Uh, uh, Spot, uh, would you hand me Uncle Frederick? Thank you. Oh, Halloween, who needs it? I mean, none of the guys are coming anyway, since I've been blackballed from the club. Uh, no, Eddie, no, the vulture goes a lot higher. We'll just have to do that later. Any sign of them? Any news? <coughs> Five o'clock, and the big dummy's still missing. <coughs> oh, they could be anywhere. They could have been in an accident or hit by a car or a train. Marilyn, your Uncle Herman has never missed a Halloween celebration in his entire life, and he is not going to miss this one, even if he has to get up off the train tracks to do it. Deck balls with sprigs of garlic, fa la 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 Our sneak eggnogs make us frolic, fa la 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 Uncle, please. Just trying to get into a festive mood, my dear, for when Herman and Grandpa show up. If they show up. Oh, have a little faith, dear. Aunt Lily, have a little faith isn't going to make anything happen. Somebody's got to do something. And if no one else here is interested in finding them and clearing their names, I am. Well, I'd be interested in finding them. If only I knew where they were. My old homestead, oh. Oh, to see again my old buddy, Igor. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful friend. It brings back such old memories. I guess Igor's memory isn't too good. Igor! It's us! Lucky for us, he never was much of a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go before he starts getting better. Yeah. Just showing off. <laughs> Proving he was guarding the castle. He's certainly proving it to me. Igor! Stop this fooling around! Or I'm gonna cut off your pension! Ah! It's you, Master! <laughs> It is really you! Me too, Ian. Herman! 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 Oh, I remember you when you could hardly walk. <laughs> oh, guess we did a pretty good job. Eh? <laughs> he seems to be holding together quite well. <laughs> Igor, Igor, what, 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 what's with the, the flaming arrows, the, the chandelier, and hiding in my coffin? Oh, it's them, the angry mob. And Proposition 13 from the last Transylvania election. Do you know they voted 19,000 to 1 to burn the castle and kill me? Well, after all you've done for the community. Well, they, they decided they had enough of black magic around here after all these years, and they're going to kill me! Oh, well, you see, we're in kind of a bind ourselves. But Grandpa remembered that he had this secret potion. Oh, Master, they're going to murder me! Save me! Save me! Not, Save not, me! Not, Save me! <laughs> we're going to protect you like, like, like you protected us, our family, for, for three centuries. <laughs> You've been a loving, faithful servant, caring. I mean, I mean, keeping, keeping.
sweeping this fine old castle like, like it was a shrine. <laughs> That's why, Igor, I could make this journey of a thousand miles, knowing that my life-giving potion would be exactly where I left. Nico! What have you done to my laboratory? Who cares? They're coming. I had a pack for a quick getaway. Uh, well, you see, we're in a kind of a hurry, too. Nico, my life-giving potion. Where is it? Life-giving potion? Werewolf formula transfer of ailment serum? Who cares? They're going to kill me. Herman. Start unpacking the crates. Here they come! I hear them. They're coming. Oh, 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 oh they're coming with, they're coming with guns. And, and torches. They're coming to kill me. Uh, oh, you must stop them, master. Stop them. Oh, you must save your old and trusted servant. Oh, save me before they, before they. <laughs> Uh, uh, before they kill you? Oh, my golly. I'm uh, my life-giving potion. I found it! Grandpa, Igor's dead. Dead? By golly, we're really in luck. Why? Why? We can... We can try it out. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I sure hope it works. He was so loving and faithful. Well, he goes nothing. Cross your fingers. Please. No crosses. Sorry, Ego. Old faithful friend. It worked! Yeah, well, I suppose you could say it worked. He's alive. But look at him. He's homelier than Marilyn. I'm alive. I'm really living. That's the thank thanks to my potion. Wow. Is that me? I really am living. Be calm. Be calm, my son, my faithful friend. We're together again. We're escaping together. We're going home together. What? Together? They're after the old Igor. Hey! They're up here! I voted with you guys. Save me a torch! So long, suckers, and thanks. Well, as they say, you win a few, and you lose a few. Well, never mind the homilies. The potion, it works. <laughs> that mummy is as good as alive. <laughs> Right. Okay, babies. Time for your last roundup. Let's go. Uncle Herman! Grandpa! Oh, I knew I'd find you. Thank goodness you're safe. Um, I know I shouldn't be here, but I was trying to find those robots that you were talking about. Oh, my gosh. You were right.
cut my baby's ass. Take it easy, 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 daughter. Come on my broom, my bell ringer from Notre Dame. That's the way, and the X-Man, that's it. Come on, he be very careful. Oh, the wolf went over here. Everybody here? We got everybody? Somebody missing, no? Oh, sure. Come on, sweetheart. Come on, hurry up. You don't want to miss the party, eh? I'm going to throw it. Stop it. I'm going to throw a party. I mean a party of all parties. I mean, it's going to be a party that even Nero and Caligula would be jealous of, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's too bad you don't have the power to speak, so you could thank me. Mm. If I had had the time, Doctor, I might have given her the power. But rush, rush, rush. Oh, come on, Dr. Licklider. We've heard enough of your testimony. Ah! Hold it. <laughs> Don't move. Nobody. Somebody here is not a robot. There's something a little fishy about this wig and this costume. <gasps> ah! No, don't move. That felt familiar. <laughs> That's an a robot. Grab it. Mm -hmm. oh, Sneaking oh around God. upstairs. Yeah. Two for the price of one, eh? Glenn, what are you doing here? Your aunt told me you were looking for proof to clear your uncle, and I remembered his crazy story about the robots. Well, so you did believe him. I do now. And there's gonna be a lot of other people we're gonna make believers out of before the night's over, eh, huh, boys? Wait a minute. It's Halloween night. This wouldn't have anything to do with uh, jewels and uh, an Egyptian mummy, would it? It's a too bad. Ralph, Mike, I think a young couple, they know too much. You take them upstairs to the bridal chamber. Make them nice and comfy cozy. Bye-bye. Are you sure about sending these two tonight, Doctor? I mean, the way they've been acting. Will you stop with your craziness? You make me crazy. You make yourself crazy. You make everybody crazy. You worry, worry, worry. A man in his lifetime has only one night like this. I let nothing interfere with mine. Mike. Here, Doctor. Is a couple uh, a nice and comfy cozy? Like a bride and groom on a wedding cake. Good. Then put on the icing. Right. You better save your breath. You're gonna need it. Let's go, Ralph. Grandpa, they're still there. They'll always be there until we clear our names. How do we get in? The same way we almost got in last time. Try to burn me at the stake. How about another chorus of Deck the Halls? Deck the Halls! Oh, it just isn't the same without Herman. Well, when on earth is he going to get here? I think I hear his footsteps now. Herman, this is not the time to be unconscious. Herman. Lily. I asked you to keep the window unlocked. Hermie, baby, where have you been? The whole family's been waiting inside. Well, they're gonna have to wait a little longer because Herman and I have a date with a mummy. What? Uh, Lily, this matter of clearing our names has become a little complicated. More than you think. That dear child Marilyn went down to the Wax Museum to do the very same thing. Wax Museum? Alone? Well, we did tell that nice young detective Glenn where she went, so I imagine he went to try to find her. I'm glad to hear that. Now, Herman, we have a lot to do and no time to do it. Well, you can be sure of one thing, Lily. Glenn is very competent. He, he put up a real struggle before those truck drivers beat him up. And Grandpa and I had a heck of a time handcuffing him to the steering wheel, didn't we? Herman. I, I, I've got it again? Yeah, you just told us Marilyn is in big trouble. 
Now, come on, we've got to get to that mummy before midnight. That means you to the mummy and Herman and I to the rescue. Just a bunch of wax dummies up here. If they're anywhere, they're probably down in the torture room. Oh. Though I don't know whether to hope they are or they aren't. Oh, Herman. Uh, there's a secret passage around here somewhere. sound for a wall. That's not the wall, Herman. Hmm? That's coming from over there. It's an SOS. Oh, oh Herman! Herman! I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Herman! Hit it! Get mad! Done, 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 done. I wish Grandpa were here. Maybe he'd get one of my good ideas. Heron, perhaps you should go for help. I'll entertain him while you're gone. Keep up their courage. Ah, ah, I... Got one of Grandpa's good ideas. <laughs> Can you sing louder and higher? Delighted. <laughs> louder, <laughs> higher. <clears throat> Thanks. You were right about everything. If we can stop that robbery, we can prove it to everybody. Let's go. Uh, uh, Marilyn, the uh, Phantom can take you home, dear. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe you can take the Phantom home. <laughs> Got him. We saved him. Have, 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 have you been able to get to the... Hmm. Sure makes you feel like a dummy talking to a dummy. Excuse me, Grandpa? Uh, are you Grandpa? I am, if you're Herman. Oh, good. I'd certainly rather be talking to you than to a dummy. <laughs> Those two robots. Their reactions are most unusual. One of their wires must have come unspliced. Hold it! You know unsplice them, I unsplice your nose. Leave them alone. They do good. Your place are mine, handsome. <laughs> uh, no thanks, I'm with... 
Carolyn, what are you doing here? It's liable to get rough. Well, you didn't seem to mind when it came to rescuing me. Yeah, well, I almost lost both of our lives doing it. That's what I mean. You could use a little looking after. There's your father. Dad, it's me, Glenn. Oh, I thought it was little orphan Annie. Now, go play in your punch bowl. I'm busy. I know they're here, and I'm going to bring them in. Look, if you're talking about the monsters, everything they said was true. He's right. Yeah, I saw the robots with my own eyes before they put me in a bell jar to suffocate me. Yeah, but, both of us. Yeah, but luckily, the Phantom sang loud enough, and it cracked the glass, and they're all here now. The robots, I mean. They're all part of a master plan to steal the mummy of its jewels. I know, it sounds like I already found a punch bowl. And drowned in it. There they are. Get them. Dad, this is wrong. Please, they're just trying to clear themselves. You can't, Dad. Who can't? That's it, man. Take them away. Looks like we have two less robots. Yeah, if they really were robots. It seems to me there were two other... You know what I think? I think I better stop thinking. That's the best think you ever had. That think saved your life. <laughs> well, at five to midnight, I guess it's us or nobody. Yeah. You know, if we could get a hold of that computer, we could do some damage. But of course, it's, it's the mummy that's the real problem. It is for all of us. Grandpa! Uncle Herman! You're still here. Yeah, but what good is it? We're still trying to find a way to get the poke to the mummy. Is that really you, Marilyn? You look beautiful, dear. You're gonna fly off for the first prize. <laughs> fly off? What? Herman. What? You've got it. I'm, I'm, I'm back in the beam again? And none too soon. Four minutes to count down. We better hurry. Herman? I'd better hurry. Oh. Okay, Michael, get set. Now I think we're ready for the changing of the guard. Coffee break. <laughs> Great. Thanks. He did it. He did it. Don't tell me what he did. Will it work? Oh, it better. We're going to spend the rest of our lives pleading before parole boards. Gosh, if you've had one minute, you know, did what? you see that? What? Someone's fooling with the lights. Mike, you're too nervous. You better tie a string around your tights. <laughs> Can, um, speed up the lights. May I have your attention, please? Friends, patrons of the arts, fellow trick or treaters, we indeed have a treat for you tonight. We are honored to be the inaugural every in a drop. nationwide tour of one of the world's newest Where's and Herman? most truly magnificent treasures. Baby went to find you. These oh, recent no, please. and monumental dear archaeological dear, dear Herman, find this is no time, time to screw else. up. The artifacts you see before you, lovely as they are, are but a sampling of what you are about to witness. It is only fitting that the tomb of a mummy king and its treasures should be opened on such a night as Halloween. A night of uh, goblins and phantoms and the unexpected. My friends, hold your breaths. In a moment, the curtains will be drawn. Oh, what happened? The lights! <laughs> Ah, come on, beauties, come, come, sweethearts, come on. Scoop up the loot, come on, we go. 
Come on, scoop up the loot. What's this? What is what's going on? What? Come on, what is going on? A mutiny? Their circuits are jammed. Somebody stole my computer. Come on, let's get out of here. Leave me leave without my necklace? Yes! No, 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 no. My brother, Ramataka Nakanagwa, he had the power and the authority for 2,000 years. Now I'm going to have the power and the authority in the necklace. What's wrong? What happened? Why'd they stop? I told you, their circuits are jammed. Uh -huh. I'm not jammed. I'm going to get my claw and authority. And there it is. Mine. All mine. <laughs> hey, this is not supposed to happen. Hey, hey, Ramatak. Ramatak, you remember me? I'm your brother. Yeah, I'm not fool you. I'm your brother. Remember? Dustin? <laughs> I take a new name, Diablo. <laughs> it's you and me, eh? Remember we used to play in the desert? Hambo. Remember we play Hambo in the desert? <laughs> we play against the Sphinx, remember? You busted the nose. I not tell Mama. I not tell Papa. Ooh. Works, Grandpa! You bet it works! <laughs> hey, I want an explanation. Explanation! Uh, great work, son. I'll take it now. You'll take it now? After he's done all the work? Yeah, why'd you come back? Something turned you into a believer? No, no, those robots I arrested, they really were robots. I got something else for you to believe. The real hero's a mummy. Well, not exactly a mummy. <laughs> Uncle Herman! Hey, wait a minute! That's not my brother. But this, this is my necklace. Oh, yes. This is mine. You don't believe, eh? I show you. Remember I told you the party? The party. Hey, my mama gave me this a party. And on the bottom of the chair is written, Yalacham, Yalacham, Yalachet. Hey, here's it written. Hey, over here. Yalacham, Yalacham, Yalatush. Yalacham, Yalacham, Yalatush. That's not my party. That's not my brother. This is not my party. I'm in the wrong tomb. All right, let's go. Tomb. Come That's on. This is not my party. Come on. Where's oh. my party? Where's my party? What happened, Herman? My youth rejuvenating potion didn't work? Well, in a way it did. I didn't give him enough? Too much. gathering. Oh. We saw you on TV, Dad. Oh, you did? You were so handsome. There was a big close-up of you. Yeah, just before all the sets in the neighborhood went out. <laughs> it's gonna be wonderful. We're all so proud, oh. aren't we? Oh. It was a bit hard to swallow. There were plenty of villains in the family, but never a hero. I know. Even the guys in the club called to say you were a hero. <laughs> you ought to see what they gave us for a reward. Oh. <laughs> oh! It's a genuine replica of the Pharaoh's biggest diamond. Oh! The only problem is, who gets to keep it? I think Grandpa ought to have it because he gave the mummy the potion. Oh, no, but, but you caught Dr. Diablo. But you stole the computer and stopped the robots. Well, you were the first one to believe in us, and you did help save Marilyn's life. Yeah, but the Phantom saved both their lives. So you see what I mean? Who gets to keep it? Ah, welcome home, Herman. Welcome home, Grandpa. Boys, well. Wait a minute. I've, I've got, got an idea. idea. <laughs> we'll give a piece to everybody. everybody. <laughs> 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 Two o'clock in the morning, and the whole dumb family.
raised back together. Ah! It looks so nice.